Hey guys! I'm on the floor today. Needed a change of scenery. It's funny because I feel like I look like a cross between a teacher and something today and somehow this all looks a little bit school-like too, but I like it. So today we have a haul, an affordable makeup haul, not necessarily drugstore. Found some items from Walmart that I actually really like and of course ColourPop. Let's grab the box here. I have the ColourPop items in the ColourPop box. It's so cute. It even says like made in LA. I love it. So we're gonna do the ColourPop items last because I have the most of that and I'm probably most excited about it too. But all right, let's get into, let's do the Milani glosses first. These are the Amore Matte Lip Creams because I was looking for these for a while and then finally Walmart had them. They were like out of a few of the colors, I think, so I just grabbed the two that caught my eye. So I have Loved and Craze. Love actually looks a little bit deeper on the lips than I thought it would, but it's really pretty. And Craze is like a really nice bright coral color. I think these do have a scent to them. They pretty much smell like frosting. And it's not an offensive smell. I actually kind of like it. I still would recommend wearing a lip balm underneath because these do actually dry matte on the lips and they do look matte on the lips. So it's kind of nice to just have that little bit of moisture underneath. Otherwise, by themselves, um, it will feel very drying on the lips as most matte lip creams or lip sticks, liquid lipsticks, I'm gonna call them matte liquid lipsticks, do. I also saw this brand, which I have never seen before. I think it is relatively new at Walmart. They might have been around for a while, but it's RK by Kiss. I think the RK stands for Ruby Kisses. So I grabbed a few things. What really caught my eye the most was the fact that they also had liquid like lipsticks. They call them matte lip lacquers, and they had them in a ton of shades. They had like a yellow, a turquoise, like purple. They had all different types of shades, and I just thought, that is so freaking awesome for something that's like so accessible, you know, because you're not as likely to find like crazy lip colors like that at like a drugstore or Walmart or Target. So I just got really excited, but I only ended up grabbing a couple. So I got it in the shade Narcissism. This one also shows up a little bit darker on the lips than I personally would have like really liked, but it's still a really, really nice color. These don't really have any distinct scent. And then I also caught it in the shade Bellagio, which I thought was going to be like a matte, deep navy shade, but it ended up being a metallic, which doesn't really make sense. It's like, how is this a matte lip lacquer that has a metallic, like, sheen to it? And then I thought I would try one of their lipsticks too, so I have it in the shade Fuchsia. It's their Satin Kiss lipstick. It really confuses me because when you look at this, like, wouldn't you think this is the bottom? I mean, I like that it shows a color, but it actually is the top. So every time I open it, I'm like confused every time. <laughs> but I just got it in the shade because, you know, spring is coming and I always love like the really purpley shades like once the weather warms up. This one looks kind of more like a really bright Barbie pink with like a hint of purple. But overall, I like the texture of it. It feels really nice and like slick on. I actually love how it feels on. It does smell a little funky though. It kind of smells like some tropical candy mixed with chemicals. That's what it smells like. I also got their eye primer. It's called the Eyeshadow Magic Primer. When I first saw this, I was like, how could I not get this? I know I just got the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Primer, which I love, by the way, because I think that one resembles like Urban Decay Primer Potion more than this does. This has more of like a liquidy, like a liquidy thin texture. It's also not as drying on the eyes. So if you find that Urban Decay Primer Potions or primers like that are too drying, you actually might like this one. Okay, just a couple more items from them. I also got their Eye Contour Miss Eve Eyeshadow Palette. And I think they had maybe two or three different sets, but I decided to get this one because I know they had one with like warmer neutral shades. I have so many warm shadows as it is. So I went with the more like neutral tones and I actually really like it. Like I kind of had low expectations for this, but it's actually really not bad at all and it'd be nice for travel. Last but not least, my favorite item from them it would be their 3D Face Creator and I got it in level 12 because I'm pretty sure, yeah, they had at least like five different shades, maybe more, um, ranging from like light to darker and just look at how yellowy this is. Like, 
For someone who has like a lot of golden olive -y undertones, I just really appreciate that. I actually find myself using this shade the most though. I use it practically like every day. I contour with it and then when I'm going for a more made up look, I actually go over it with like a bronzer or contour as well just to get it even more defined and I love it. Let's go on to ColourPop. I know I am really, really late on this. I think the only reason why I just never dived in is because like, you know, you do have to buy it online. I've just been hearing so many great things about them and it has been on my to buy list for a really long time so I went a little crazy. Do you guys want to see what the packaging actually looks like? Because it is pretty cute. Like, all right, so the lippy sticks come in these type of boxes with the purple and the blue on the inside. I just think it's really adorable. And then for the ultra matte lips, the boxes look like this. I don't know if you guys care. I mean, I kind of care. Like I like, I like the detail that goes into products. Oh, and it has like a yellow inside. You know, the hoarder in me like doesn't want to throw these boxes away, but I, I need to throw them away. But whoever designed these, just letting you know that I appreciate the effort that went into them because I think it's really cute. Here we have the Super Shock and it actually says on there to keep the magic in closed jar tightly after use. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you guys everything. Let's start with the eyeshadows. So I got four of them. I actually am wearing three of them today. I have the shade on the lid, which is this one right here and it is in I Spy. These are really cool. I did not realize that they were gonna feel almost like moussey or souffle. Not souffle, <laughs> almost mousse-like. They feel like butter. I think it's supposed to kind of almost be like a cream to powder formula, but it's definitely moist and it kind of, it just makes sense as to why you're supposed to close these now. But I have this shade on my lid. I also have Hustle. It's more of a deep shade but when you blend it out, it can actually look almost like kind of pinky or mauve like it does on my lids. You don't have to worry about powder fallout. I did feel like there was a slight bit of a learning curve working with these though, because it almost seems like it may be best to use synthetic brushes to apply these on the lids as opposed to, you know, like the animal hair brushes. I also got the shade So Quiche. It's almost like a taupey with like a pink flash with some purpley undertones and the pictures on their site do them justice too. The last color I got is in Mooning. Oh, and I forgot to mention the So Quiche. I do have a little bit underneath my lower lash line. I'm not sure how well you can see it, but the last color, which I don't think I've tried yet, is in Mooning. And this one is more of like this rich brown with some pink specks. Kind of similar to this one, like they both have pink specks. It's just so, so pretty. You know what? They really remind me a lot of the L'Oreal Infallible shadows. You know, the little, there's like the little cap inside of it. It also has sort of that moist, like, texture to it. it these remind me a lot of those, just to compare them to something. Okay, just one more thing before we go into the lippies. I also got their gel liner. I got it in black. It's called Swerve. Love it. I'm also wearing it today. It just glides on. It's so black. I can see why people love this company so much, like their products deliver, you know, definitely deliver on the color. So far, I don't have any crazy like smearing or anything going on. Now onto the lip products. I've got a lot here. So let's start with the ultra matte lips. I got it in the shade Beeper, which I see everybody all over social media wearing. Love it. I love it. I was kind of afraid that because I think people kind of describe it as like a taupe. So I was afraid that it might like wash me out or make me look dead, but it's just right. You know what I mean? Like it hits the mark. I do have a L'Oreal gloss. I think it's the infallible gloss. It's the one with the two ends where it's like a long wearing lip gloss liquid color and then there's like a bomb on the other side. I think it's called Never Ending Nutmeg that people compare this to. So that one makes me look like, like dead, like I'm rotting, like I'm a corpse. This one is actually flattering. I love it. I'm so glad I got this. The other shade that I got that, oh my gosh, once I put it on, I did not want to take it off is in LAX. If you've been looking for like that really deep, 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 deep vampy look that doesn't look crazy patchy on your lips and that's like long wearing, you have to get this. Nope, these don't have any discernible scent either. Just like the Amore Matte Lip Creams from Milani, I would recommend wearing a lip balm underneath just so you have a little bit of moisture under there because these do actually like dry matte on your lips. So yeah, without any moisture underneath, they are gonna feel dry on your lips. That's just the way it goes. All right, lastly, the lippy sticks. 
yay! These are just gonna be a little bit more like user-friendly. Like even when I was applying this, I had to be really careful because once it sets, it's not easy to like clean up. So these are a little bit more like forgiving just in terms of like when you apply it. What I'm wearing right now is actually Lumiere and it's a matte. I got most, yeah, I got almost all mattes, only one cream. And I'm pretty sure this is the shade that Kathleen Lights uh, created and she did an awesome job because I was trying on a bunch of shades and I found that this one was just, it was really flattering and it just like matched my whole look the best. Got Contempo, Pinch, and Lumiere, which are all mattes. They vary just a little bit like in the tone. Contempo has a little bit more pink to it. Pinch veers a little bit more beigey brownie. And then Lumiere is what I'm wearing, has more of like this mauve undertone to it. I will say that not all of these like come on lips as matte. Some of these matte shades, I would think they would be more of a cream. And then I got a few other shades. I got Grunge, which is sort of like this more, you know, brownie type of color, very 90s. And then these two brighter shades because spring's just around the corner. Julep is the one cream finish that I got. And I love it. It's really just like, it looks juicy and fun on the lips. It's like a corally type of color. Very, very bright. I know this is going to be perfect for when I want that like minimal, glowy, fresh, youthful look. Very little on the eyes. And then Grind, which once again I was hoping would be more purple, but veers a little bit more pink on the lips. Oh, one more thing. I also got this little mini set of ultra matte lips. They are so cute. And there is a beeper in here. And they have some other shades in here, which I think look really nice and wearable too. And I just bought it because I wanted to be able to give away something to you guys just to let you know that I really, really love you and appreciate you. And typically I would like wait forever and just pack up a bunch of stuff to, you know, do a giveaway. But I figured let's just mention that I'll give this away. I'm probably going to give away some other things with it, some good stuff. So if you'd like to enter, just let me know down below um, with the code word. What should it be? Let's have the code word be I love lippies or the code phrase be I love lippies. So if you'd like to win this, just enter that phrase down below in the comments and I'll choose a winner probably by next week. So that is all. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. I do have the high end one coming up. I think I'm going to do a hits and misses for like the higher end products, but that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys.